Hello everybody, and thank you for choosing the EF show to listen to for your weather podcast. So today's episode is a a shorter episode. It is just going to be over announcements, so it's not going to be our normal 20 minute uh, podcast. It'll be more around 10 or less. So to get into it, uh, the EF show is now available on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Radio Public, Anchor, Breaker, and YouTube, and potentially Apple Podcasts coming up. I applied for their manual, um... RSS feed, so hopefully that gets sent in if the uh, signal's good enough for my email. And uh, so, yeah, just some new platforms rather than using some of the old ones I, that this was posted on. I uh, decided to change up the format a little bit, and with that, change to a different uh, system and process of posting. So, those are our new uh, places that is going to be posted. So, stay tuned to my uh, social medias if to. Uh, if you want to see which ones and the links to them, or uh, any new ones that will be added. So, um, I'm looking at a schedule for this season. This season um, is mostly going to be going through the end of uh, December. So really, uh, till New Year's, and there's going to be a holiday break for about a week or two, where there won't be any episodes. Then we're going to start up Season 2. So since Season 1 is was kind of a sparse spread out, started out in the middle of June, and then we started picking them up here again in uh, end of October, beginning of November, um, we are going to try to schedule them and make them a little bit more consistent for Season 2. So we're going to be looking at around um, maybe 10, 15 podcasts probably by the uh, end of the first season. And then looking at the next season, we'll start going by the actual uh, meteorological seasons. So spring will be a season, summer will be a season, fall will be a season, and winter will be a season. But uh, pretty much... Uh, with that, we have winter and spring. We will try to do like a mini season in there, a few special uh, uploads. But what we'll probably end up doing is just combining the end of winter with the, uh, or I shouldn't say the end of winter, middle of winter with the uh, spring season. Because, I mean, there's a few extra days in there where we might just make it a shorter season. So all stuff that we'll be looking into here. Um, as you see now, our uh, current format will be posted and be staying the same. So uh, we will post on Mondays and Fridays. And there will be some things coming up in Season 2, but that will uh, be on a different announcements uh, episode that we do later on. Probably to, maybe uh, yeah, It'll probably be the last episode of the first season just before we get to New Year's, uh, where we'll be talking about maybe some uh, forecasts and that type of thing. So we'll get from the podcast and then some more of a talk show uh, episode on Wednesdays. We'll do some Weather Wednesdays. And uh, so Times will be posted on uh, Twitter or Instagram uh, each day that I decide to post. It should be uh, regularly um, around 8 p.m., and that's just because it's easier to post then for me, and it's a better time to get everything processed. So, uh, yeah, just stay tuned for that. I will post them and with the link and everything, and uh, that'll be all over my Instagram and maybe some Twitter stuff with it. So, I mean, it should be about the same every week, so you could just rely on it being at the same time. Uh, so, the EF show will be on the website of the uh, EF network. We are currently working on crea- the creation process of that. And on that, we will have a photography and a few other topics, including astronomy and some physics stuff that uh, I will be posting on. And so th- there will be some big stuff coming out on Twitter um, in, the, in the coming weeks about that. And that should really be uh, posted and finished by uh, New Year, so at the beginning of the second season, that's when everything's going to start shifting into a, a regular schedule in a bit more of a professional format. And I uh, will be adding some music to the podcast. And so we'll have a few breaks, probably every, if I do every 15 minutes, we'll try to do a 30 minute podcast in the middle. We will have a, a two or three minute break. So that'll allow me to be able to give you the best content as possible with the uh, best. Uh, I should say, emotion, talking, you know, information, without just being drowning on and on and on about the same thing. So it'll be an easier uh, way to get more information in a better process. Um, so a few other ideas uh, we are coming up with, uh, some 
forecast for your area. We will be doing on the YouTube edition of this. We will be showing uh, the forecast for the next three to five days. I'm still trying to decide whether I should do three or five days um, on that. And we will just do the capitals of every state. And we will go through and uh, just post and see. You could see what, what your weather probably will be like. Whether you live in the city or you live far away from the city, you could see in proximity what it should be. And so speaking of proximity and weather temperature, let's talk about that cold shot that we're going on this that's happening this week. It is crazy. I'm seeing 60 degrees below average and 20 degrees has been normal for everyone over the past few weeks. But we are driving from some places 101. I believe that was in Savannah, Georgia. And that is now dropping down to like I believe it was 50. So you're looking at a 50 degree drop, and that in, in some places it's more than that. It is crazy. And the South is truly getting their first freeze. And all these places um, aren't prepared for this. So plants and vegetables and everything just getting wiped out because of all of this. And so these cold fronts are coming out of uh, Canada. They are the Arctic blasts. So the main reason that all this is coming so unexpectedly is because it, the jet stream just took a dip. And that dip it pulled all this air down at once. It started out as just going to be in the northern states. Well, that ended up diving south a bit more. So really, all of these... Um, cold temperatures are because of something coming out of Canada and this happens every single year and it's sometimes it's more pronounced in other years so that's why this year it's been such a um, news breaker is because uh, you know it doesn't happen this dramatic every year I mean 60 degrees isn't a normal thing that occur so uh, yeah that's about it and that's for the uh, weather side of it for the announcements um, not much else other than the website. Uh, we will be posting some pictures and uh, some tips on the website and some things that you'll be able to navigate it easier whenever it is posted. But it's more in like a testing stage currently because um, we're using Wix and uh, Wix is amazing and everything. But we want to make it the best experience so you can access all the information all at once in one place. So. Hopefully everybody uh, is going to enjoy that. We will be connecting the uh, photography account to this too. So you not only will get to see the meteorology, you'll get to see photography, astronomy, um, physics, and a few other things. And uh, we will be posting also too some uh, links of some uh, websites that we've been using of some really good information. So if you want to go check them out after the podcast, you can just go to our website and see the uh resources link and see all of the uh, links that we have used in the information so you can go see it yourself so that about does it for this podcast it was a quick one here on this monday just to get a quick start to the week and everything so i want to thank you all for listening and uh, have a good rest of your day